Hey, what's up YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with a review of the Nightcore TM16 GT. And here it is in the box. This is how it will arrive for you. Now I did get a special package deal that included these four uh, high quality Samsung high drain batteries. So I will include a link to that package deal. It was a, it was a good value. And here's the light in hand. You can see it is a fairly large flashlight. It's got four emitters and each has its own reflector well. This is the moonlight mode so you can see them better and they are smooth reflector wells. This has a range of over a thousand meters. Now this light has five brightness levels and three special modes. You can see the maximum lumens 3600 and you can also see the run times there. Now note that maximum beam distance, 1,003 meters. This thing is a thrower. This is what you call a light sniping flashlight. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between the TM16 GT and just the regular TM16? The GT has longer range. It has about 300 meters longer maximum range. So even though the non-GT model is listed as more lumens technically, this is actually going to appear brighter once you get out to longer distances. In other words, this thing is an extreme thrower. All right, it's got extreme long range performance, which I will show in the demo. Now here is a size and shape comparison with two other Tiny Monster uh, line flashlights that I have. Right, you've got the TM06S. That's the most compact one, or one of them. Then you have the TM16 GT. Uh, it's obviously the longest of these and the, uh, the head assembly is the widest. And then over here you have the TM26 GT. So what's the difference between all these tiny monsters? Well the first one is the most compact one, right? But it has the least uh, range. Uh, this quad ray has a pretty good range because that's also a GT model around 700 meters the range on that but this uh, TM16 GT that outranges this by a good 300 meters so basically the one in the middle is the longest range of the tiny monsters and more size comparisons now as you can see this configuration with the four 18650s and the extra wide head assemblies with four emitters right and uh, you know the smooth deep reflector wells, that's actually a very common configuration for powerful long-range lights. This is a Thru-Night TN40, and then the Nightcore, and a Jetbeam T6. Because the head assemblies on these are all extra wide, there's just more surface area uh, for those reflector wells, and it just helps the range on these lights. You see the quad emitter configurations with the uh, smooth reflector wells. It's a case of convergent evolution here. Now this light is all controlled by these two side switches. This is the power switch and this is the mode select switch. All right, so when you press the power switch it will come on in whatever brightness level you turn it off in. To cycle through the five brightness levels you just press the mode switch. That's the lowest. And that is the highest and it is quite bright. Right, to turn it off, just press the power switch again. Now from off, if you long press this, the power switch, you will shortcut to moonlight. All right, long press. That is the moonlight mode for reading. From off, if you long press the mode switch, you will shortcut to turbo. Strobe warning, if you double tap the mode switch from off, you get a strobe. Now when the flashlight is on, if you long press the mode switch, you will get strobe. If you keep pressing it, it will cycle through beacon mode and SOS mode. That's the SOS mode. So three special modes. Now to install or replace the batteries, you just unscrew the tail cap here. That's what that looks like, and it's two up and two down configuration. I'm currently using some of my protected through night cells. It takes four 18650s. 
And this does not require high amp batteries. You can use just regular 18650s. Now I turned down the lights so you can see the indicator switch. When you put in new batteries, you see that blinking? That will indicate the voltage. It blinked four times, so these batteries are at 4.0 volts. At this point, I'm going to roll in a lot of demonstration footage. I did all kinds of things with this light out into the field, testing it uh, to hundreds of meters. I was on this ridge line and I was overlooking this parking lot. You'll see. Enjoy. And here is a top view beam shot of this Nightcore light. Pretty nice. It's on the driveway. Obviously the driveway is a little irregular. That's not the beam. That's just the terrain. Yeah, this is a pretty awesome light. Alright, let's go around back. And here is a beam shot on the wood bench. All the way to the beloved wood pile. It looks even brighter on this because uh, the wood is a little more reflective than the driveway. So, But yeah, this is one bright light. Now this is the Nightcore light on the old testing board. This is the lowest mode. Let's cycle through. And that is the turbo mode. And as you can see, still snowing. Okay, so we're doing a little uh, bad weather test, unplanned. But I've got some longer range stuff coming up. And I filmed some of the longer range stuff two, uh, two days ago. So it wasn't snowing then, so that's good. Alright, let's test the strobe. Strobe warning. That is the strobe. Pretty disorienting. And here it is just pointed up at the sky. Look at the snow. Yeah, look at the snow coming down. Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm in the second story window with this Nightcore light. This is the uh, turbo mode. As you see, it is snowing. Uh, we also had some high winds, okay? The testing board fell down. I'm going to go fix that. But this is what it looks like overlooking the backyard, this Nightcore light. It's very bright. And we're going to do a lot longer range stuff coming up. But I just wanted you to see how this does at backyard distances. It does really well. And do I see some visitors? Yes, I do. Let me zoom, let me zoom in. Some furry visitors in the snowstorm. And there are the deer. And this is lighting them up really well. Yeah, they're sheltering from this uh this little snowstorm. And uh this is how far away they are. They're way over there, but I can see them very clearly. I mean look at the range that this is getting. Skunk has been sighted. There it is. Can we get it on camera? It's far away. This light has some great range. Look how far that is. Tracking a bandit. Hey YouTube, we're out here with this Nightcore light at the sports field. There's a lot of moisture in the air, but we're going to burn through it. Check out the goal in the distance. That's more than a soccer field away because I'm not standing on the field. Uh, let's zoom in and see how bright it is over there. Wow, you can see the fog in the air, but this thing is cutting through. I mean, that lights it up really well. I'm way back here, dude. I am way back here. Way back here. Okay, YouTube, an even longer range test. I'm on the road overlooking the strip mall parking lot. You see, there's the parking lot. Look how far that is. Yeah, that is definitely several football fields away. Uh, I'm going to try to bounce the light off a street sign in the parking lot of this strip mall with this Nightcore light. Okay, you see that street sign without the light? Let's zoom in and see how see how much light is uh, is going to bounce off that sign. And there we go. That's how much light is bouncing off. Now let me let me shine it away. All right, that's without the light. And this is how much the Nightcore puts on it.
And like I said, I am several football fields away. I'm on a totally different road on this ridge overlooking the uh, strip mall parking lot. That's some impressive range on this light. Wow, okay, we've got the full-on lightsaber effect now. We are at the other sports field. This is one goal. And let's see. Come on, focus. There, you see it? You see that, right? That's the other goal. It's actually reaching the other goal. There it is, it's clear. In a fog bank. Dude, I'm inside a cloud. I mean, I'm inside a fog bank. Check that out. That's 100 meters. Zoom back just to prove it. <laughs> wow. I mean, cutting through a fog bank. That's impressive. I love this Nightcore light. Yeah, just walk towards the light. And again, this is across a field. This is, that's 100 meters. I mean, it wouldn't be that impressive just on a clear night, but I mean, you see how much, I mean, I'm literally in a fog bank. Wow, let's just, sh let's just signal some passing airplanes. Total lightsaber. Awesome. Now I got this at banggood.com. I got the package deal that includes those high quality, uh, high amp Samsung batteries. Now I want to make clear, this does not need high drain batteries like that, but you can use them in this. But there are now a lot of flashlights that actually do require high drain. So I wanted an extra set of four and it was a, it was a very good deal. So I will include a link to that special package deal. And also there is a discount code. It is substantial. So check the text description box for that discount code. And it, believe me, it'll be worth your while. So my overall opinion on this Nightcore light the interface is really good. I mean, it's very simple. You've got two switches. One is the power switch and one is the mode select switch. The shortcuts are really convenient. They make a lot of sense. You've got a shortcut to your moonlight mode, your turbo mode, and your strobe. That is very good. The double tap for the strobe shortcut, it makes a lot of sense because if you accidentally hit one of the switches, it's very unlikely that you would hit it twice. So it's you know, in quick succession, so there's almost no chance of accidentally strobing someone. So the interface is top-notch, and as for the range, this thing, I mean, around a thousand meters of range, this is a true light sniper. That brightness is going out to a much longer range than most lights. So there are many lights that are technically brighter, but when you get out to several hundred meters, this is going to blow them away. Now as far as the drawbacks, you know, they're all things that would you would just object to the whole category. For example, some people might not need a thousand meters of range. Okay, you know, Nightcore has floodlights and other lights for those people. Uh, the light does not have recharging. A lot of people like uh, USB recharging for their lights, but this does not have that. So if that's an issue, maybe not the light for you. Another potential drawback would just be the size of the light. But again, Nightcore has some much more compact lights if that's your main priority. Yeah, overall, this is one of Nightcore's best lights. Uh, Nightcore has a very strong reputation. One of the reasons that people like Nightcore is because they cover everything. They have power lights, you know, power flutters, throwers, keychain lights, little EDC lights, single battery lights, tactical lights. They have pretty much something for everyone. And that's really why they're successful, because there's so many different, basically, points of entry into their product line that people will buy one light or another, and if it works well for them, pretty soon they're buying more. So, Nightcore's command some, in a very crowded industry, Nightcore consistently manages to demand higher prices and get them for their lights. So Nightcore is one of my favorite brands. I've never had a problem with any of my Nightcore lights. They are a bit pricey, uh, but like I said, the, uh, the discount code for this one kind of helps out in that department, so take advantage. Okay, YouTube, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this light. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.